business branding, it's a hot topic right now that seems to have about a thousand different definitions. So from developing your personal brand, it can all feel intimidating when you don't know where to start. Or if you think that you know where to start, you can become overwhelmed with all the options that are available to us right now. So don't worry, I'm here to clarify some things and show you how to actually make branding work for you. Let's jump right in. So if you thought of a brand, or maybe if I asked you to close your eyes right now and say, maybe think about Starbucks, what would you see? Maybe you would see their logo, or maybe you'd see their green aprons, and maybe the streamlined cardboard cups with those sleeves so that you don't burn your hands. Or maybe you can see that siren imagery that they use in much of their marketing materials. But it's more iconic than just Starbucks images that come to mind, right? You think about maybe the viral pumpkin spice latte campaign that they had before, or every good or bad experience that you've had in their stores, or any involvement that they might have in your community, or maybe that time you went and met your friend, um, you know, there for Christmas last year. Now, Starbucks has a pretty great brand, and it's not about me pushing products in any way, although I might admit that I'm a bit of a caffeine addict. And should you ever be in my neighborhood and you're in the mood to drop in for a caramel macchiato or something with a last name and say, hey, why not? You see, Starbucks have made themselves memorable, okay? They have strong images and they've got different ideas on who they serve and how they provide their beverages and the products that they sell. Now, it's important for every business of any kind to have this sort of resonance and so that people can get to know, like, and trust you. You might be sitting there and just thinking, well, it's all good and well. Why does my company need a brand? I already have a logo. I already have a mission statement. My clients know who I am. I'm all over this branding thing. Well, while this might be a bit true, um, your brand is so much more than the surface element that define your company. You see, your brand is what people remember about who you are as a business. And it's the reason why they recommend you to their friends or the people they meet at a barbecue. And it actually presents who you are and what it is that you do or what about you and your offers that excite new clients to want to partner with you and maybe old clients to just support you for existing. And this is not a marketing ploy. It's an entirely organic way to have clients magnetized to you just by being you. Okay. It sounds great. <laughs> it sure should. You see, while some elements of branding, maybe like the reaction that the clients have to your products or the services aren't entirely in your control, many of these are. After all, you are the only person that controls your business identity and it can feel like, um, you know, whatever you want it to become. So let's get into the nitty gritty with all these pointers of how you can create your own personal brand and use it to benefit your business. The first thing you want to do is maintain the same tone. This is everywhere and always, okay? So you are your own brand. So for all the content that you're going to be putting out there in the world, it has to have the same feeling to it. My suggestion, identify who you want to be and to be seen as in the world there, and then just go from there. Save everything that you write or that you publish, and then you can check back anything that you might be publishing on your website, on your social media, or on your profiles, um, on so, um, you know, so that you make sure that everything is consistency, the phrasing, the stances, and all the ideas that you put out there. Build your brand so that it's consistent, and you want to be um, engaging in online platforms, in in social media feeds and also work with people that you can absolutely help and connect with people who are like-minded and who appreciate you for exactly who you are. Don't be afraid to get into a niche. Contrary to popular belief, not everyone is going to like the business that you're in or the services that you're going to provide. So sometimes it's better for you to just work with a small group of people that really loves you. Okay. So if you stop and you define your own niche, it makes it easy for people to find you and seek you 
when you're gone. And it makes people, um, you know, passionate to work with you. And if you specialize in providing the top of the line interactions with people, people really dig that stuff. Okay. So at the end of the day, you don't want to miss um, being the uh, go-to person within your industry. And you don't want to spray and pray with your marketing. While you're doing that, create awareness because your business needs awareness to survive. Okay. And you can use branding to get recognition for your one-of-a-kind business, all right? And I'm going to give you a helpful tip right now. Use stories to craft your business profile, okay? The old days of marketing are long gone, where people have traditional views of maybe a business profile, company, about us, pages, etc. Reach out to your favorite clients. Ask them if they're comfortable sharing some of the amazing experience that they've had together, and then put their stories to use. It's called user-generated content. And the best way for you to create memorable business brand that gets people to love you is to use the words that people have already used to Define what it is that you're telling them and have a little bit of fun. Branding can also be very visual and the more bold and consistent you are with your company's visual branding, um, you know, the more memorable you become. So play with your phones, play with colors, revamp your website and just launch, um, you know, a engaging blog because you can see the possibilities are endless and the um, opportunities for you to be ever present are there. All right. So do what you can have fun, create a perfect look for your business brand. And you might be thinking, maybe this is not the time for you to rebrand. There's never a perfect time. The beautiful thing about branding is that, um, you know, it does have to, um, stay, it doesn't have to stay static. Okay. And you don't be afraid of embracing, um, you know, those times where you feel like your business brand no longer matches who you are or what it is that you do. Change isn't a bad thing. Sometimes a new take on your brand can actually rejuvenate your business and your passion for what you do. I can't wait to see what you're going to do with your brand moving forward.